and welcome to the Wine Mothership. My name's Ian, and unfortunately Peter can't be with us tonight. He's opening for Motorhead. But tonight we've got something incredibly special. Barolo, of course, uh, famously subtitled Wine of Kings, King of Wines, perhaps it's the other way around. But we have a Marchese di Barolo, Barolo, from, would you believe it, 1967. The colour is amazing. There's a wonderful gradation. We've still got, if you look through a really deep section of it, there's still crimson in the core, but it's come out to a wonderful, wonderful, bright, fiery orange at the edge. And with a wonderful gradation in between. It's not one of those wines that just has like a, a, a very, very clearly defined rim. Halfway down the bottle, it's standing up wonderfully, wonderfully well. Let's have a taste. It really is still really amazingly intense for such an old wine. I mean, what is it now? 47 years. We have got fruit on the nose. That's probably, it's poorly defined red fruit, but still, it's there's definitely some of the primary character of the fruit left. It's mostly truffles and forest floor though, but there's acid left on the palate and After some initial funkiness blew off, there's almost nothing wrong with this wine. You can tell it's past its peak. I'll be perfectly honest. This isn't a ball terror of a wine. It's not going to blow your head off with its amazing qualities. But for the reasonable price I got it at, and for the ability to drink something from 1967, God, who was still alive back then? Janice, stop. Joplin's still with us. I think she was. I think it's wonderful. I think this is wonderful stuff. Um, certainly Barolo is something that I really want to get uh, into a little bit more. And uh, if I can get a lot more examples like this, 1967, I'm sure it'll be a very pleasurable journey. Thank you for watching The Wine Mothership. And remember, may the wine be with you, always.